Cradle to Cradle. Mattress waste as a renewable resource. Mattresses are an indispensable part of our modern society due to their ergonomic, comfort and durable properties. The majority of mattresses contain flexible polyurethane foam with an annual foam production of around one megaton in the European Economic Zone and the United Kingdom. Flexible polyurethane foams are generally synthesized with isocyanates and polyether polyols, mainly derived from fossil fuels, which is a non-renewable resource. The synthesis of toluene diisocyanate starts by the catalytic reforming of heptane from oil to toluene, which will undergo nitrification to nitrotoluene and is subsequently reduced to toluene diamines. Finally, a phosgenation is performed to produce toluene diisocyanates. The synthesis of polyether polyols starts by pyrolysis and catalytic cracking of hydrocarbons to olefins, which will undergo oxidization to produce ethylene and propylene oxide. These epoxides are subsequently employed in a ring opening polymerization with an initiator molecule, such as glycerol, to produce the polyether polyol. A polycondensation reaction of the toluene diisocyanate and polyether polyol results in a network of polyol segments linked via urethane groups. In the presence of water, isocyanates are hydrolyzed to amines, which can further react to form urea groups. The hydrolysis also results in the formation of carbon dioxide, which causes the foaming. Foam mattresses have a lifespan ranging between 10 and 15 years, after which they are discarded, generally ending up in the bulky municipal waste. The thermoset nature of polyurethane foams does not allow for recycling by melting and remoulding. As a result, 49% of end-of-life mattresses are landfilled in the EU, which consumes valuable land resources and poses environmental hazards. 33% are incinerated, which allows for the recovery of thermal energy, but also requires extensive scrubbing of exhaust gases and produces greenhouse gases. Only 17% are mechanically recycled due to limited market demand for these lower value plastics. In PureSmart, an innovative process is being developed for the chemical recycling of end-of-life polyurethane mattresses, with the goal of recycling both the polyether polyol and the toluene diisocyanate. An intelligent sorting process is being developed for separating the various polyurethane foams from end-of-life mattresses. The foam is subsequently subjected to a split-phase alcoholysis comprising the dissolution and depolymerization in a polyfunctional alcohol in the presence of a catalyst at around 200 degrees Celsius. After the reaction, a spontaneous phase separation occurs allowing for the recovery of the apolar polyether polyol. A limited purification treatment is required to render the recovered polyether polyol suitable for the production of new flexible polyurethane foams. The carbamate reaction products in the lower phase are hydrolyzed to toluene diamines in the presence of a catalyst at 200 degrees Celsius. The toluene diamines can be separated by distillation and subsequently phosgenated to toluene diisocyanate. The recovery of both the polyether polyol and the aromatic compound allows for a sustainable life cycle of flexible polyurethane foam with limited use of resources and limited production waste. Concurrently, the introduction of dynamic covalent bonds in polyurethane foam is being investigated. These bonds ensure the long-term structural integrity of a polymer network, 
but upon heating, the bonds can be temporarily released or exchanged between chains, resulting in plasticity, repairability and recyclability. This could ultimately result in the production of covalently adaptable polyurethane foam mattresses with enhanced intrinsic reprocessing and recycling properties. The innovative solutions thus investigated and propagated in the Pure Smart project can improve the sustainability and viability of the polyurethane mattress industry.